everyone, thank you for watching. So as you can see by the title of this video, I am going to be talking about boobies today. So for some of you, this may be a little bit uncomfortable or some of you may think it's inappropriate, but I think this has been my number one requested video for quite some time now. But the way I see it, I'm just here to help out some of my girlfriends, teach them some tips and tricks on different things that I've done in the past to make my boobs appear larger. Um, I've had a lot of people asking if I had recently gotten a boob job, which is a compliment because no, I have not gotten a boob job, I just wear really good bras and kind of know how to work with what I got. So I'm just going to basically go through a few tips on different things that I do and different things that I recommend for those of you looking to make your boobs look a little bit larger or just shaped a little bit nicer. So if you guys want to hear a little bit more about it, please keep watching. And this is my disclaimer right now that if you think I shouldn't be talking about boobs and you don't want to see some cleavage, turn the video off now because this one is definitely not for you. So if you guys want to hear a little bit more about it, please keep watching. So my first tip is to make sure you're wearing the proper bra size. You guys can go into any of the stores and they'll um, measure you for free, so definitely make sure you're getting the right size because that's like one of the biggest things. If you're not wearing the right size, you can be spilling out in the wrong areas and it can just give you a weird shape, so that's definitely the first thing that you need to do. Second is buy a push-up bra. So there's a million different types of push-up bras out there. The ones that I've been wearing forever now and that I have in basically every single color are the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Bras. I'm sure most of you guys have already heard of them. They add two cup sizes, so some people may see this as false advertisement. I like to see it as a nice push-up bra. It really gives them a nice shape and pushes them up and just gives you some great cleavage. So I basically bought it in every single color and those are really the only bras that I wear right now. They also have the same type of bra in a strapless version, which is what I'm wearing right now. And it also adds the two cup sizes. For any of you guys looking for some extra lift or just extra shapeage, <laughs> shapeage, is that a word? I think it's just like a foam padding that's in these. It's not anything uncomfortable. It's not a water bra, so it's not going to burst on you. These are a little bit more pricey, so on my blog I'm going to put some other bras that I've tried out that are maybe a little bit similar or that I also recommend, so definitely check out that. So for those of you who are asking what types of bras I wear, it's either this strapless one or this one. So some of you guys may think, okay, well that's like false advertising, you're making your boobs look bigger. and. I mean, I guess in a way, yeah, but if you have absolutely no boobs and you wear it, maybe it'll be false advertising, but if, as long as you got a little something to work with, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Plus, my boyfriend already obviously knows what my boobs look like, so for me, I can wear as much padding as I want and I can get away with it. When I was back in high school, I of course was not wearing these types of bras. I had just regular unpadded, maybe like a little bit of a padding bra, and that was enough for me. Um, once I got a little bit older and I wanted my boobs to be a little bit bigger, I went out and I tried this one and I just haven't bought anything since. So if you guys do want to spend a little extra money, it is definitely worth it in my opinion. So for those of you who want the same type of push up but you don't want to go out and spend the money, I got these little silicone gel booby things off of Amazon and they're so squishy but you can put these right into your bra or your strapless bra and it's going to give you instant lift. So if you're wearing the add two cup size bra, I definitely don't recommend putting these in there because your boobs are just going to look ridiculously massive. But if you have a bra with less padding or maybe no padding, stick one of these in each side and it's going to really boost up your boobs. So I'm wearing a padded bra right now but I'm just going to give you guys a quick example of how much bigger they'll look. Look at that! <laughs> so, might as well stick these bad boys in for this video. So yeah, look at that. Instant cleavage. So again, false advertising, maybe, but I don't know. For my girls out there who have used them before, are they not amazing? It's just instant cleavage. So for those of us that don't want to get the boob jobs, these are definitely great cheaper options to make your boobs look nice and full. So my next tip for you guys is to sleep in a tight cami or something that's going to just keep your boobs nice and up. <laughs> nice and up. Um, I wear these shirts. You've probably seen me wear these a bunch. They're from Aritzia. I have literally every single color because I literally wear them every single day. Um, it's like a built-in bustier, so it doesn't have a bra in it or underwire, but it has little like areas for your boobs to keep them nice and intact. I sleep with these almost every single night. If not this, then something just tight because 
I don't know, I have a theory that if you sleep with them nice and up, they all stay up. And in my case, that's what's worked best for me. If you wear something looser or a little bit more baggy, if you're just kind of laying to the side or laying on your stomach, they can get like smushed or like just, I don't know, like tilted the wrong way. You guys understand what I'm saying. So wear something nice and tight to keep them nice and lifted while you're sleeping because I think that's one of the biggest problems that a lot of people don't realize. My next tip is to apply whatever night cream that you use on your face onto your boobs before you go to bed. This may seem a little bit weird as well, but I use the Nerium face lotion, so if any of you guys have tried it, it's really, really sticky and it's a thick consistency. Um, I always like to add a little extra pump and then just put the excess put all around my boobs and I don't know, I think that really has helped as well. Think about it, if you're putting anti-aging stuff on your face and on your neck, why not put it on your boobs? Because like our skin starts to sag, our boobs start to sag, so let's try and keep them nice and perky for as long as possible. So I quickly wanted to put on one of my shirts that I wore in my blog post because I saw a lot of people asking. I think this is where it all kind of started, was with this shirt. It's the cage shirt that I wore in my cage blog post. Um, I wear these little sticky bras. I have like a bunch of them the ones with the sticky like this. I like to unhook them though, so they're just like two little pieces. So this is what I'll wear with this type of shirt. Um, another trick that I'll do when I wear something like this is I take my brow bar because it has a nice brown shadow in it and a blending brush and you just fill in where your cleavage is and it helps accentuate it and also makes them look a lot bigger. See? See how it looks so natural and it makes them look bigger? Because it, what it does is it adds more depth. Kind of like contouring your face. First I'll do that and then I'll take any type of highlighter and I just add it right to the lighter parts. And it just really gives some dimension to them, which again makes them look larger. So that is what I'll do for like tops like this. Um, I mean, we all have different shapes, sizes, everything. So of course, everyone's are going to look a little bit different. So that is definitely what I like to do when I'm wearing more low cut shirts or shirts where I am not wearing a push up bra. So it gives it a little bit more dimension, a little bit more cleavage. And yeah, that's just like something I've done. I'm going to say for at least five or six years now. When I figured I wanted to try and make them look bigger, I just kind of sat and played, and this was something that worked out really well for me. So, wanted to share that as well. And my last tip for you guys is to work out. If you guys don't have any fitness plans or any different type of workouts that you currently do, not only is working out beneficial to your health, but it's also going to make you feel good, it's going to make you look good, and there's just a million benefits to it. So I definitely recommend working out. If you add different chest exercises into your routine, believe it or not, it's going to really help build the muscle under your boobs, which is going to help keep them nice and firm. That is one thing that I'll always do when I'm at the gym. I constantly do different chest exercises. I believe Brett has a video on his channel of a workout routine that we did at the gym doing different arms and chest movements, so I will link that below for you guys to check it out. Also, if you haven't worked out before and you're just trying to get into it, check out Brett's channel. He has all types of workouts for beginners and it's just something I definitely recommend overall, not just to get your boobs bigger, but that is basically it as far as my booby enhancing tricks. I hope this video helped for some of you guys out there. These are just little tricks that I've learned throughout the years because my boobs have always been like a normal size, but I always wanted to try new ways to make them look bigger without having to get surgery. So I'm not against plastic surgery if you guys choose to go down that route. Lucky you, you're going to have some nice big old boobies, but for me, natural is the way to be. Ooh, it rhymed. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.